Welcome to Higher Chemistry, Higher Chemistry students. This year we're going to start with Unit 2, Nature's Chemistry. There are several different topics within Unit 2, the first of which being systematic carbon chemistry. This topic begins with hydrocarbons, which is revision for majority of you. Remember, there are three different homologous series you should be aware of. A homologous series being a family of compounds with the same general formula and similar chemical properties. The three families you should be aware of are the alkanes, the cycloalkanes and the alkenes. Remember the alkanes and the cycloalkanes are saturated hydrocarbons because they contain only single carbon to carbon bonds. Whereas the alkenes are unsaturated because they contain at least one carbon to carbon double bond. The alkynes is a new homologous series. This is an also an unsaturated molecule because it contains this time a carbon to carbon triple bond. And you can see on the PowerPoint, there are some examples of your alkynes. Your hydrocarbons can be of a straight chain or branch chain nature. Straight chain hydrocarbons, there is a continuous carbon chain like butane as shown, or with a branch chain hydrocarbon, there are branches coming off of one or more of the carbon atoms. However, you cannot get a branch coming from an end carbon. Let's remind ourselves how we name branch chain alkanes. You find the longest continuous chain, not necessarily a straight chain, but the longest continuous chain. Then you number the branches that will be the smallest number. So choose to number left to right or right to left, whichever gives your branches the smallest number. And then we put it all together. Similarly for the alkenes, but this time you must ensure that the carbon to carbon double bond has the smallest number possible. The functional group always takes precedence over a branch and it must have the smallest number possible. Then the branches just take their positions based on how you named from the double bond. And it's exactly the same procedure for your alkynes. The carbon to carbon triple bond must have the smallest number possible. Homologous series can have isomers within themselves or between different families. To discover if you have isomers, you ask yourself two questions. Firstly, do they have the same molecular formula? If the answer is no, they are not isomers. Do they have the same molecular formula? If yes, you ask yourself a second question. Do the molecules have different structures? If the answer is no, they are not isomers. Now be careful, sometimes structures are made to look different but they're really not. If they genuinely are different, they will have a different name and therefore they are isomers. A little revision that our different hydrocarbons can undergo different types of reaction. Long chain alkanes can undergo catalytic cracking in which the long chain alkane is cracked into smaller, more useful alkanes and alkenes or saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. The two important points to remember about this experiment are one, the name of the catalyst, and two, how to avoid suck back. When it comes to the alkenes or the unsaturated hydrocarbons, they can undergo addition reactions. That's where the carbon to carbon double bond, or now carbon to carbon triple bond, can be broken and we can add across that. We can add things like bromine, hydrogen or water, which you should be aware of from National 5. Remember, if we're adding bromine, the bromine water will quickly decolorize if in contact with an unsaturated hydrocarbon. We don't necessarily just have to add bromine, hydrogen and water. We can add other small molecules like your halogen alkanes, for instance, hydrogen chloride, formula HCl. The alkynes, because they are also unsaturated, can undergo addition reactions. Firstly, the triple bond 
breaks to a double bond, and if there's further reaction, the double bond breaks to a single bond. As shown in the mechanism, propine becoming propene, then becoming propane on addition with hydrogen. And here are some other examples of addition reactions of alkynes. Hopefully that all made sense. And now I would like you to attempt section A of the workbook. Good luck and enjoy.